Hello friends, this video on Asset and Base Part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 12. Now we have learned acid, we have learned base, we have learned acid reacts with base, a lot of reactions we have learned. But we have also known that some acids are strong, some are base. How do we tell that, okay, this guy is more stronger than this guy, right? This acid is more strong than this. Or this base is more strong than this. How do we indicate that, right? So this strength depends on the number of hydronium ions. The last example I told, it all depends on the strength of hydronium. I mean, H plus and OH minus ion that defines the strength of acid and base. So scientists have done all this experiment and they found that this all depends on H plus and OH minus, and that's why they have. If you see. The, the acidic nature increases if you have more hydrogen ion concentration and it, it decreases if you have less hydrogen ion concentration and then if you have OH minus ion concentration more right this is OH minus this, this guy white is OH minus I'll put this red red thing so that you can understand the one with the red red marks are all OH minus ion concentration and the one in the blue is hydrogen so if you see Anything which has more height or OH minus and very less acid is more basic, right? That means if you see a basic substance also may have some acidic ions also, right? So if you see, if you have more OH minus it is acidic, basic. If you have more hydrogen ion, you have the substance as acidic. And if you have 50-50 hydrogen ion, uh, OH minus ions, it is neutral. So it is the H plus and OH minus ions that defines the strength of acid and base. And for this, this is just chart, but to actually give a number to this for AB substance, for example, we'll say that hydrochloric acid stands somewhere here, sulfuric acid stands somewhere here, sodium hydroxide stands somewhere here, right? Carbon dioxide, uh, carbon monoxide stands somewhere here. Something like that. So we, we have to put all this value, we have to give some number to this value, right? For that, there is something called pH. pH value is something that range from 0 to 14 pH. pH is defined as nothing but negative logarithm of concentration of hydronium ion. So this is a negative logarithm. So acid has pH less than zero. Correct? pH stands for potential of hydrogen. pH means potential of hydrogen. It is scale of determining acidity or alkalinity of a substance. Right? So, although there will be maintained some ion solution, pH focus only on hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion. Please note, only these two ions are the star of the night. There may be other ions, chlorine ions, sodium ions in a, in a uh, solution, but they don't bother. pH means they are only bother about hydrogen and hydroxide ions. The scale varies from 0 to 40. The distal water is 7, that is right in the middle. It is neither acidic nor basic. And acid is between 0 and 7. The base is between 7 and 14. Why? Because it is negative. Negative logarithm of the hydronium ions. So Anything which is less than 7 is acidic and anything less than uh, more than uh, 7 is basic, right? So now let's understand the history of pH, how this pH came. The same history almost, the Greek, they told the acid, defined as acid by the taste. Then this guy came, the, the Lavoisier, he told us define the structure, he found the oxygen in this guy, but he... Uh, mistakenly found oxygen, it was different. Uh, the reason he found oxygen was he, he took some acid and he saw oxygen was common and all, so he thought maybe oxygen is the... And also oxygen term was given by him only, so he has a natural tendency for the oxygen and he told oxygen is the guy responsible for the acidity in nature, but, but that was not the crew. The Davy guy proved that this oxygen is not the element, something else. So this Vaughan found that that something else was hydrogen, right? And then this uh, Arianus uh, found that uh, acid is something which uh, 
delivers hydrogen cation to solutions, right? And then uh, with this RNS, we found that he gave a good definition. This guy gave a good definition that anything which gives H plus ion is a acid. Now we were uh, very much confirmed, right? The community, the scientific community, by 1900, we were very much confirmed that it's the hydrogen ions which are responsible for acidic nature. So this guy then uh, uh, nursed. He did a theoretical foundation of use of electrode potential to measure the concentration of hydrogen ions because we are telling that it is the concentration of hydrogen ions which defines the strength of the acid, right? That is something which is known. But how do we measure that concentration? How do we find that HCl has more concentration and this particular acid has less concentration of hydronium ions? So to do that, he gave a theoretical foundation. Please know it's a theoretical foundation for the use of electrode potential to measure concentration of ions. So now by this, uh, 89, 19, 1989, we had a theoretical way to measure the concentration of hydronium ion because this is what defines the strength of acid. Then this guy, Peter, this guy, he, he defined the concept of expressing acidity as negative of logarithm of hydrogen ion. So because this till now we, we knew that this is a hydrogen ion and this guy found a way to, uh, to measure the concentration of hydrogen ion. So they were able to measure the concentration of hydrogen ion and then this guy told, okay, acidity is defined by this term pH and it's nothing but negative of logarithm of hydrogen ion. Why he took negative, we don't know. But we just know that this guy used this and that became a standard. So let's see the importance of pH in our everyday life. So we know that acid and base are all formed by hydrogen and hydroxide ions and we have this pH indicator, the history of pH indicator, how it came. Now let's see what is the importance of pH in our everyday life. The plants and animals, they have a pH range of 7 to 7.8. That means they are mild basic. We also have mild basic tendency, right? Everything we have is a little basic. The teeth we have, uh, the body parts are all basic, right? So living organism can survive only in this pH range. So if you put uh, animal also in the acid, it will die. So but can survive this mild basic. So this is our pH in the body. Also, when this rainwater, sometimes we get this rainwater with a pH range of 5.6. And that range is called acid rain. And this is very harmful because when this flows into river, the river becomes acidic and this impacts aquatic life in the river. This is, this happens actually, sometimes we get the acidic rain and this is harmful because the aquatic life also wants this, this comfortable pH 7 to 7.8. Soil also has this range 6 to 7.8 is the best range for the soil. Sometimes this range, uh, the soil becomes acidic, so we add base to that. Sometimes it becomes more basic, so we add some fertilizers and all to make it come to this pH range because this pH range is the most ideal for any soil. Our digestive system, it is highly acid. It has hydrochloric acid. It's very strong, but this helps in digestion without harming the stomach. Right? So, if, if you see, sometimes we get indigestion. Why indigestion? Because the stomach produces too much acid. If it produces too much acid, this causes pain irritation. To get off the rid of this pain, we use antacid. Right? We, get, we eat sometimes more and sometimes the process, uh, your uh, stomach produces a lot of hydrochloric acid and you feel very uneasy, you feel the irritation, you feel the pain and then you use antacids to get rid of this pain. Right? So this is antacid is nothing but base actually. Why? Because in that case your stomach is more acidic and you want to get rid of this, you add some base to that. The acidic effect of the stomach is uh, uh, nullified and you get a relief stomach. Tooth decay, you see that. Why tooth decay? Because tooth has to be basic, right? Because the whole body is basic. Now, this, if my tooth uh, pH level goes downer than this, lower than this, 5.5, the tooth decay starts. That means if the tooth becomes acidic, my tooth decay starts. And why it becomes acidic? Because the bacteria 
that is present in the mouth, the chocolate speed, all these things, they they produce acid by degradation of sugar. That's why if you see the chocolate has sugar, a lot of sugar if you eat, it may spoil your teeth because this sugar which you get and the bacteria in the mouth, right? The, the, the bacteria plus sugar in the mouth, they produce some acids. And these acids actually make your tooth acidic and with this the tooth decay. To prevent this, what we do, we clean our mouth after eating food, especially the, 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 the sweet things. And also we use toothpaste. The so toothpaste is basic in nature, right? Because toothpaste will act with that acid which is created in the mouth, the, the uh, teeth area, and it will nullify the acid effect and it will make the, uh, your teeth more basic and it will prevent the fall off. Correct. Acids are also used for self defense by animals. They are, if you see, the bee sting. If the bee stings you, you get pain and irritation. Why? Because this bee sting leaves an acid in the body, in that area, and you get pain. And this bee sting, bee is not having a natural desire to sting people. This, the bee stings only when, when you try to harm the bee. So for self-defense, bee is using this acid, correct? So if you see, this acid is also used to, naturally this is used for self-defense by a lot of animals, correct? Now is the question time. So you have two solutions A and B. pH of solution A is 6, that means it is acid. pH of solution B is A, that is base. Which solution has more hydrogen ion concentration? Obviously this guy will have more hydrogen ion concentration, right? pH is 6 is acidic, so it has more hydrogen ion concentration. Which of this is acidic? Obviously, this guy is acidic because it has more hydrogen ion concentration. And which one is base? B is base. So we'll say B is basic and A is acidic. Right? Solution A and solution. That is my answer. Correct. One more question. What affects the concentration of hydrogen ions on the nature of the solution. So we see that if hydrogen ion is more, it is more acidic. If hydrogen ion is less, it is basic. Correct. So you increase the hydrogen ion concentration becomes acidic, you decrease the hydrogen ion concentration it becomes basic. So hydrogen ion impact the nature of the solution. It is acidic or basic is defined by hydrogen ion concentration. Do base have hydrogen ion? Yes, base has. Yes, they have hydrogen ion. Right? But why is base then? Because they have more OH minus ion than hydrogen ion. So they are very, very, they have more OH minus ion than hydrogen ion. So this is nullified, some is nullified, and this, whatever extra is there, that makes things basic. So base has hydrogen ion concentration, but OH minus ion concentration is more in base then H plus ion in the base. The question is under what condition a farmer uh, should treat the soil with calcium hydroxide, calcium oxide and calcium chloride. So if you see my calcium oxide is basic. Calcium hydroxide is also basic. Calcium carbonate is also basic. They are all basic. So if my soil is going to be acidic, in that case, treat soil with, with all these three. Right? Calcium hydroxide, calcium oxide, and calcium carbonate. Why? Because all these three are basic. You know that calcium oxide, calcium hydroxide, calcium. They are all basic. So if my solution is as my soil, soil is acidic, in that case. We should treat my soil with this. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.